going on with Sister Alessandra? Probably like daydreaming about some guy that's gonna magically come and take her away from here. Did he just smile at you? I don't know. Why is he smiling? Who is that? I Who, don't know. Wait. I've slept with another man's wife. One of you sluts thinks he's quite the jester. Ah! Preaching to you little bitches, did you hear what I said? These girls can be tough. I'm not gonna lie, they can be very tough. What is this shit? This is a turnip. That's not a turnip, it's shit! They physically have attacked people. You know who my father is? Yeah, yeah, you please. talk to us, you ain't world So respect my- Did you roll your eyes? You were rolling your eyes. So congrats on the movie, y'all. Like, wow, I don't think there's really a good <laughs> adjective to fully encompass what it is. What was it like to um, put yourself into that world so fully and so committed? It was really fun. I mean, uh, we went into it all with no script. It was just based on an outline. And so we kind of just really gave ourselves over to the whole experience and just found a lot of things in the moment. And um, that's kind of when the most natural stuff comes about usually, when you're just really listening to each other and taking risks and seeing what lands, yeah. And like, there's no sets or anything like that. It's like on location, yeah. so it's, <laughs> we really were in these, I guess, what do they call them, castles, or whatever, yeah. these old farms and stuff. So it was a very, very real experience. It's amazing. Um, but there was an outline. Mm -hmm. Where did this outline come from? You were just like laying in bed one day, you're like, God, I'd love to see some witches try to sacrifice Dave Franco, that'd be amazing. <laughs> like, where, where did this idea come from? Well, originally I took a class called Sexual Transgression in the Middle Ages and Renaissance at NYU when I was in film school. And I read the Decameron, which this is based on, and there's one story in particular that I like really identified with and thought was great and always wanted to work on it. And then um, years later, a friend was like crashing at my place and it just came up in conversation. And one thing led to another and it turns out one of my investors has been asking people to shoot in Tuscany for the last four or five years that she has access to all these medieval villages. And it just all kind of was like kismet. And um, yeah, it was just something that I really wanted to do for a real long time. And it just all came together in a really funny, weird, fast way. It's fantastic. And how early in the process was everyone brought into it? Was it kind of like this idea where like, I had this idea, I see like these people or like so someone was like, oh, I've got a friend who'd be great as a nun. Let's bring them into it. Well, I don't know. Sort of. It was like, I, 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 once I knew this thing was happening, mm -hmm. I just reached out to all the people, like for instance, Aubrey and Allison and John and Molly I've worked with before. And um, Dave is Allison's husband. Mm -hmm. And when I sat down with her to kind of picture this idea, we both had the idea that he'd be great for it. Fred, I'm a super fan of ever since Saturday Night Live and Portlandia. So it was a dream to get him. and. Um, Mikuchi, like I, I know her sort of like around, and Jemima had a meeting with her, and it was it was sort of like f f uh, just hanging out with her. I kind of created a character for her, so it was really like a fluid situation, just because mm -hmm. the amount of time between saying we're going to make this movie and it actually being made was like a couple of months. Oh, wow. So it was just it, it, there was no like real development. It was just like this mad dash like title wave. Like grab and go. Yeah, mm -hmm. just went for it. I love that. Okay, so all of you. You guys die. You go up to heaven, St. Peter meets you at the gate, and he's like, yo, I'm so sorry, I can't let you in. You gotta go down to hell because... <laughs> because... <laughs> so you mean in general? In general. Yeah. Because I, I love cats too much. <laughs> and St. Peter hates cats. He can't love your cat <laughs> Exactly, <more. laughs> exactly. I don't want to say bad things, I really don't. Um, <laughs> You guys have something good? I'll keep thinking. Bless me, Father, for I've sinned. It's the longest list I've ever had. Apostasy, abusive language, heresy, revelings, eating blood. Do you think I've ever written down eating blood before? I would volunteer myself first. I'd be like, well, it seems like a more interesting place. Fair. Um, and, but other, other than that, I'd be like, check your books again because I am squeaky clean. <laughs> I almost cursed once, and that doesn't count. <laughs> I started with the SH word, and I midway through I stopped. I remember, I was just like, I'm not saying that word, it is a curse word. I am so into the Bible, you guys rule. And, so and you're this trying place, to sweet talk your way. I would totally, I'd be like, this is like, you guys are the best. You'd be like, give me 30 minutes, I'm gonna get in there, St. Peter, let's yeah. talk, let's grab yeah. a drink, yeah. have holy water, and like, talk yes. back and forth. I'd compliment St. Peter. <laughs> um, Sartre said, hell is other people. And that would then mean that there's no other people in heaven. So like, who wants to be there by yourself? So at least Accurate. you get to like hang out with people, and that's fun. So it's just going to be a giant hell party, and we're all going to have fun. <laughs> yeah, I don't even think you have to call it hell. It's just a party. And then just a party in a like, really <laughs> warm place. Yeah, or it's like, you know, who wants to be cold? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>
I love it. Okay, so out of all the nuns you guys dealt with, which one would you be most afraid of to deal with in a sacrifice ritual situation, which I feel like is a very real question for you after filming? Um, let's go with probably, I don't, I mean, Kate's a wild card. Kate's a you wild card. Know. You don't know what she's gonna do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I agree with yeah. that. Yeah. There'd be some real pain. <laughs> what is wrong with her? She is on drugs! All my hot girls with me and we dance around and bounce those teeth. So across the board, we're all gonna meet in hell for a party, and we, but we'd all be terrified of Kate if there was actually a ritual happening. Agreed? I think yeah. I can jump on board with that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I feel like if like, Aubrey's doing a ritual, it's ultimately for the good of the world. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, thank you guys so thank much. You. I really yeah. appreciate your time. Where am I? Bling bling bitch, do my own thing, bitch. Fuck a wedding ring, that ding a ling was just a fling. This is mad. Bring that ding a ling was just a fling, bitch.